Om Shanti, 17th November. Welcome to this Holy Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to have an intellect which is so powerful that we can actually control it and we can actually rule over it. And that's what say Godfather says that you become a master almighty authority when you're able to do that. How do we do that? Is what we will learn in this beautiful blessing. God says, may you stabilize your intellect in an elevated stage according to the directions and become a master almighty authority. Of what? Of our intellect. When some children sit in yoga, instead of being soul conscious, they think of service. Service is something to do with the body. Service is something which reminds you of people, physical bodies, places, things. So when we are trying to be soul conscious, we are not concerned about anything physical. So that's what God is saying. Instead of being soul conscious, they think of service. However, it should not be like that if instead of becoming bodiless in the final moments, could be leaving a body, could be the end of days, that is end of the cycle on earth and starting of a new cycle on this very earth, end of hell, beginning of heaven. You have thoughts of service during those days, in those moments, you have thoughts of service, oh I was to do this, I have to go there. You would fail the paper of a second, that time whom we are supposed to remember, we have been practicing to remember God, Father, and if we are remembering things, places, people, and services, that means we have not yet practiced being detached. At that time, you must remember nothing but the Father and of being incorporeal. Us being incorporeal, not thinking about the body, viceless, that means I don't have any lust, anger, greed, or attachment, I've got all virtues in me, and egolessness. In thinking about service, you would still come into a physical consciousness. If you're thinking about service while remembering God, that means you're thinking of yourself as a soul and thinking of God as a soul in the supreme abode. And immediately you think, oh, I had to go there, I had to meet this person, I had to call this person. Immediately your consciousness falls down onto earth. That's what God says. Don't get into physical consciousness at that time. Therefore, when you have to stabilize yourself in a particular stage, practice becoming stable in that alone. That means if you're remembering God, you just remember God. You don't think of anything else. Things will come. And those things and people and circumstances and situation will come in front of us with which or with whom we have attachment. And that's the first sign. If you're remembering somebody else while remembering God or he's remembering a thing or a place, automatically that means, yes, something is wrong. That What is wrong? That means attachment to things and places and people. And especially desires are filled in that. So... For that moment, we have to be desireless, totally detached, not wanting, or not thinking about the future, not planning for the future. Just me and God, that's it. Nobody else. Nothing can come in between us. That's what we say, right, in relationships. Practice becoming stable in that alone, for only then will you be called a master almighty authority. That means you have so much of power over your intellect that you can just visualize those, uh, visualize those things which are coming into your mind and drop them off and immediately remember Godfather. That means you are a master of your intellect. Who has controlling and ruling powers? Controlling the thoughts, what direction do we take them? And ruling power, ruling over our intellect. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris for a stable mind, for a peaceful mind. You're most welcome to come and learn this art. Om Shanti, this.